Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to combine two data frames in R. Now there will be times when you're working in R that you would like to be able to combine data from two different sources. So in this video here, we're going to take in two uh, separate uh, data files and come try and combine the, in, them into one data frame. So I've got data here. This is weather data downloaded from weather.com. And I have stored that data, some March uh, weather details for March for the year 2021, and stored that into a file called 64a data file.csv. And I've also got some weather uh, from April for 60 and call that 64b, uh, the CSV file. So these are real weather data for the city of Dublin in Ireland where I live. So let's go and download or, or read these files in and take a look at the data. So I'm gonna create the March weather data frame first and let's take a look at it. We can see we've got 10 uh, rows of data and four columns showing the date, high temperature, low temperature, both in Celsius and the conditions on those days. So we're looking at some real data for Dublin here. Let's take a look at the following 10 days in April. Uh, so I read that file in and display the, out, out, the output and we can see in our console that we've got a similar type of data for the first 10 days in April. So we've got two data frames, same number of columns. We uh, happen to have the same number of rows here, but that, that doesn't matter. But the number of columns, as we'll see later, does matter. So what I'd like to be able to do now is I want to combine these two data sets. In other words, append the eight, April data onto the March data so that I have a new data frame with 20 lines of dates on it. So I'm going to do that and call my new data frame, I'm going to call it new weather. New weather. And using the assignment operator, I'm going to use the rbind function. And to find out more details about the rbind function, I go to the help area on our studio, uh, type in rbind, and you'll see you'll get lots of descriptions and usages and examples about how to use the rbind function. So I'm going to use this just to combine the two data frames. My first data frame is called March weather, and my second data frame is called April weather. So it's a simple matter of typing in these two names. So March weather first, select that from the pop-up, comma, space, you don't need the space, but I'm just putting it in for read readability here, April data, and um, run these together and print out my new weather data frame. So display this and see what it looks like. And we can see when we look in the console that we've got uh, one row of headings. We've got then our first 10 um, rows for the March data. And we can see straight away uh, that the April data from line 11 has now been added in to the end of the March data. So when you're using the rbind function, the order of the two that you insert the two uh, data frames is important here. Had we put the April weather first and March weather second, we would have a different looking data frame here at the bottom. So just be careful with the order that you do this. Now we can see that our data frames, both data frames had four columns each. What happens if you try and combine two data frames with a different number of columns? So I'm going to try and add that in. So make myself some extra space here. And I've got, I'm going to read in a third file and the code for that I have on my clipboard. So let me just paste that in. We can see what I'm doing here is I'm creating a third um, data frame. I'm calling this one April Weather 2. And I'm reading in a file called 64C. Again, it's real weather downloaded from weather.com. And uh, this time, as we will see, it contains a different um, type of data frame. So let me run this and print out the results. And we can see that we've got a three column data set here. In other words, I've removed, the, deliberately removed the conditions data. So now I'm gonna try and combine uh, this data frame of three columns onto my brand new data frame, which contains four columns. So let me give myself some space here. Uh, use the same approach as before. I'm gonna call this variable new weather two. Let me correct that typo there. New weather two, assignment operator, and the same tactic as before, R bind. I'm going to um, add in my yeah, new, brand new weather data that I've just created. So that's the uh, data frame with 20 rows on it and four columns. And I'm now going to try and add in this this new data set, April weather two, which contains 10 rows, but only three columns. So April weather, weather two. Again, watch the order there, make sure you they go in in the right way that you want them to do. And when I try and run this, you can see that I'm getting an error because the number of columns in the arguments do not match. So we've got one data frame with four columns and the second data frame with three columns and R is not able to combine those two. 
So although of limited usage, there will be times when you're using data frames uh, of similar types of data gathered from different sources that you might like to combine in this way using the simple rbind function. Don't forget that the data files in this um, used in this video, um, plus all our scripts and everything used in this series of our videos are available in my GitHub. You'll find a link to that in the information area beneath the U this video on the YouTube page. So that's how you combine two data frames in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.